The government and all elements of the opposition must realize that we have a brief window to stop the violence, a brief opportunity to create an opening for political engagement between the government and those seeking change. If this opportunity is not seized, I fear that what Joint Special Envoy Kofi Annan has warned about will come to pass, a full-scale civil war with catastrophic of effects within Syria and across the region. We cannot continue the same approach and expect different results. This negotiating period will be the last opportunity to realize the document and there is much work ahead. The time has come to shift the gears to reach our destination in time. We must be determined to confront the hard issues now, 100% of the issues, instead of kicking the can to Rio. Quite simply, we need a negotiated outcome document before Rio uh, to ensure the high-level participation that we have worked so hard to generate. The government of Sudan must address legitimate political and economic aspirations of its people in southern Kordofan and Blue Nile, where humanitarian access, access should be immediately granted and the cessation of hostilities negotiated. The government of South Sudan must address grievances behind intercommunal violence and gain the full trust of its population. It is imperative that both sides stop any and all warfare by proxy before it becomes too late. The international community is responding positively to the reforms. Many countries have announced the lifting or suspension of economic sanctions, but much more needs to be done to enable Myanmar's transition to succeed. The United Nations is committed to doing its part during my visit, we agreed to strengthen our partnership in a number of concrete, practical ways, including through my continued good offices.